night this is bear with bears den acrylic art back with another painting video so you can see before me another 16 by 40 so you can guess what we are going to be doing uh i am going to be continuing my harvest moon series now i have taken the liberty of flooding this canvas with a white base coat. This is um, Liquitex Basics in the titanium white. Um, and we are going to be using an array of greens, which is a bit of a departure for me. Uh, you know, if you've watched my videos before, uh, I have said that I have a fairly complicated relationship with the color green. But you know what? We are going to try and conquer that. Um, you know, practice makes permanent, I believe. So we're going to give it a go. So for my composition, okay, in the last pour that I did, I kind of hooked it around in, you know, a bit of a J shape, okay? And I want to try that again uh, one, to see if I can replicate it, and two, uh, this time I want to try and do it on both sides, uh, you know, so hook it around, come back up towards the center, then back down, so it will look something like, you know, the number three or, you know, a, a sigma, um, you know, that's what I'm going to try and do, all right? Whether or not we are successful remains to be seen. All right, so let's talk colors. So the first color going down is Liquitex Payne's Gray. Um, I think this it, greens and gray, especially Payne's Gray, um, make for wonderful bedfellows. And I wanted to use Liquitex because it is more on the grayer side as opposed to like the Payne's Gray from Golden's, which is, you know, more on the blue side of things. So, let's see how we're gonna do this. something like that all right I think that is a fairly decent start although that is not <laughs> not the prettiest squeeze I've ever done but what are you gonna do and you know I'm not trying to go for like perfect symmetry here. Um, so I think that looks pretty good. Now just to kind of even out the line. Yeah, I was looking at my collection of paints and I was wondering, you know, all right, what what color did I want to try and tackle next? And for whatever reason, the greens jumped out at me and I wanted to do it against a white base because the... Uh, the last two that I've done have been blue. So I wanted something different uh, because this one is going to be receiving gold leaf as opposed to the, or I'm sorry, uh, this one's going to be getting another copper leaf. The last one I did silver. Uh, so I wanted to see how copper would stand out against a white base. So this is my own concoction, iridescent turquoise. Um, this is the Soho Urban Artist turquoise mixed with the um, Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. So it's this really pretty shimmery um, 
turquoise green which this bottle is just about kicked so I just want to make sure I have enough which I do all right moving on Phalo Green, also by Liquitex Basics. Oops. No wine, this one. I'm hoping that doesn't come back to bite me because it didn't look like that was mixed very well. will tell. Because I would really hate to have to scrape this on account of, you know, the third color I'm laying down. So hopefully, even if it isn't, yeah, I gave this a good shake too, but apparently not good enough. Well, we'll see what that looks like. It's too late now. All right. Now, this next color, I'm curious to see how this is going to work. Uh, and I'm layering it this far down for a reason. This is Light Apricot by Arteza. Now, in my experience, this is a pretty reactive paint. I tend to get a lot of really nice lacing. So we'll see what that looks like. Now, also, just for something different, uh, this is a color I have not used in a very long time. This is Dragon Flash by Folk Art Color Shift. And I just want something... This has a, a gold color shift to it. And now I remember why I haven't used this in so long, because the bottle likes to clog up. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Don't mind me. Wow. All right. Well, I took the cap off, so let's... We're going to have to be real careful that I don't let too much of this spill out. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Let's move along. Next, we have Green Earth or Terra Vert, you know, depending on what tax bracket you want to find yourself in. 
uh, if you want to be fancy. So this is just a really, really pretty, uh, you know, darker green. All right. Next, we have Iridescent Copper by Pebeo. And we'll start on this side. All right, three more. Next, Metallic Leaf Green by Artist Loft. The penultimate color, tried and true, iridescent green yellow, also by Peveo. And I think this will make for a nice pop of, you know, like a, a lighter kind of lime green. And then our last color, because I want to finish with something dark or darker, uh, Viridian by Golden. All right, now, hopefully this blows out the way I want it to. But there is a lot of paint, which I might come to regret. But we shall see. I can tell you right off the bat, and I don't know if you can see this from your vantage point, but this is real close to the edge. So I know that's going to go over. Can't really do a whole lot about that. So just like I've been doing we are going to divide and conquer. I'm going to start right here, blow up, then we'll tackle this, then we'll tackle the other side. So fingers crossed, here we go. And it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't fling something into the paint. <laughs> All right.
Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm very glad that I used the Liquitex titanium white as opposed to the Artist Loft uh, soft body because if you've ever used that in a Dutch pour, um, you know that it really tends to eat up your composition. All right, so I'm trying to figure out All right, there's something in this part right here that's bugging me. I'm just trying to figure out what that is. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I know. Now, normally I would not do this. But I just want to try and get the rest of this over the edge. Yes, I'm very glad I did that. Okay, so now we go in with the straw and we'll see what wants to move around. But for the most part, I really like how this blew out. Now I'm just trying to feather this part out just for the sake of symmetry. to see if I can't break up this sea of white right here. And I do that by blowing straight down. To try and bring some of the underlying color to the surface. Okay, and you know what, really guys, that's, I'm, I'm really happy with this. All right, yeah. All right, I am going to clean up my edges and I am going to bring you guys in uh, so you can see what this looks like from my point of view. So I will see you down here in just a minute. 
Okay, friends, here are the wet results. So let us zoom in, pardon the glare as always. So this was my starting point. Now I did not get the lacing that I was expecting, but that is not necessarily a bad thing. There are, you know, as you can see, you know, there are some pop-up cells here and there, you know, but overall, you know, I am just super happy that I can see all of the colors, you know, although I did kind of lose the dragon flash, but, you know, I'm not mad at that necessarily. Um, I like these little bits of the iridescent green yellow cells. But I like that the Payne's Gray is, you know, prominent, but it's not taking over. Okay. Um, you know, there's just a lot of really nice transparency. Um, I like this a lot. It has some nice shimmer. If I pull back out, I like that it's not completely symmetrical. So yeah, so these are the wet results. Let's give it a couple days and see what it looks like dry so I can start the leafing process. All right, y'all, here are the dry results. And the only word that I can say is balls. Because do you remember when I was putting down the color, the phthalo green that wasn't mixed properly, and I said, gee, I wonder if this will come back and bite me later. It totally did. So because it separated in the bottle, I thought I had shaken it up, but I guess I did not. I have all of this crazing, and this is the only swath uh, where I put the color down that was not mixed properly. And this is what resulted. The rest of the Dutch pour is absolutely gorgeous. It is iridescent. It is lovely. So my options are to leave it alone, which I'm totally not going to do. Uh, to pour over this, which I'm totally not going to do. Now, I can either get in with some detail brush and paint, but I'm concerned about getting the color to match. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use this um, to my advantage uh, in that, you know, one of my moons, so to speak, is going to go here. And in these little, you know, cracks in the crazing, I am actually going to put my adhesive and I'm going to put down the um, copper leaf. Uh, so it will kind of look like, like a moonlight kind of through the clouds kind of thing, if you can think in abstract terms. And I might try and do the same thing on this side, but maybe not. Um, I don't know. I like this too much to have to scrap it. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. And rather than force you guys to sit through, you know, me just putting down all the adhesive, uh, moon is going to go here, moon is going to go here, moon's going to go there, and I will come back and show you what this looks like when it is all finished. All right, guys, here is the finished results. Now, as you can see, this 
is not copper leaf. Despite having used the iridescent copper, uh, I decided to go with the gold leaf just for a greater contrast. And I'm very, very glad that I did. I think this looks really good. Now, here is where I had, you know, some of the larger bits of crazing. And, you know, I made sure that all of the pieces that I put the adhesive on, you know, would fall within the circumference of this circle or, you know, moon as it were. So I really, really like how this turned out. So all in all, see if I can pull out so you can see the whole thing. All in all, I like this a lot. I am very glad that this turned out the way that it did. So hooray. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for sticking around and taking the time to watch this video. I very much appreciate it. Um, if you are new to my channel and you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up. That helps. Uh, you can also hit the bell icon to be notified of when I upload new content. Um, you know, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment. I will get back to you just as soon as humanly possible. Uh, now, this and all of my other work is available for purchase. You can find that on my website, www.bearsdenacrylicart.com. I am also on Instagram and Facebook under Bears Den Acrylic Art. Or you can just email me at bear at bearsdenacrylicart.com. So, once again, thank you. And please stay tuned to my channel. Uh, for the 12 Pours of Christmas, uh, my video will be premiering on Monday, December 19th, and I cannot wait. I have something really special in the works, uh, so I do hope you stick around. So thanks once again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will talk to you later. Bye.